Hey guys, Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews, back again in the carpenter shop of reviewing. But uh, today we got the BG Wizard, slowly becoming one of my favorite BG bags. But before we start, Queen City Yard Games, these boards, insane. Double leg, double support brace, three quarter inch Baltic tops, UV printed, a tank, all of it. They are insane. They are the best boards I've ever used. Not even close. A bit more expensive, but you are investing for a lifetime set of boards. These things uh, are insane. They just, they, they're solid. Nothing bounces. They play great. Love these things. Gladiator Cornhole Glove. You guys know I love this thing. You know, I like it enough to want to work with them. Helps me a ton with my sweaty hands. I've been able to throw all day. I don't mess with any bags. Just so much consistency for me. So link for these down in the description below. Eddie 10, 10% off. I got a Patreon. You want to support me? I do some stuff with shoutouts and patches and whatnot, but just helps me get more bags to the channel. Really appreciate all my patrons. All right, BG Wizard. So we got that herringbone carpet. We got that mercenary, surefire, game changer, fast side. Really nice combo. You know, this is kind of what I was looking for in the Warlock, just because I need that faster, fast side. I, and it's a slightly bigger template, a little bit more relaxed of a template. So start with speeds. So we're looking at a six on the slow with that herringbone, eight on the fast with that uh, game changer material. So play really nice. Uh, you can still lay a block of these, but this carpet is pretty quick. You know, it's meant for those humidity days. Um, uh, fast side can really push through anything, doesn't change up in humidity. These things are actually pretty bouncy, bouncier than I was expecting. You know, you can actually roll these really well. I mean, I guess Alex Hicks has been having tons of success with these. He throws the roll shot. I originally thought when I first threw Wizards, I was like, oh, these things will never roll because they're too fast. Yeah, no, they bounce. They bounce plenty. If, as long as you get them backloaded, they will bounce over bags uh, fairly easily. But in terms of flop, these things are getting pretty broken in. They get pretty floppy. It's because a little bit of a wider template. It's not your Viking mercenary template. At least this version that I got, it's a little bit bigger. And I like that. It feels really nice in the hand. It really like lays down in the hand. Sometimes Vikings just feel a little bit too compact for me. Uh, this is just a little bit more relaxed, a little bit wider. Price point, uh, they usually go up for like 100, 110 bucks plus shipping on their website. They go up fairly often. Secondary market, 90 to 100 bucks on Facebook. So very affordable bag. BGs are pumping out bags right now so you can get them for a good deal. ACL Pro stamped for this year. Design, this one, I forget what they call this. I think it's like the fade, color fade or something, purple and green or purple and blue, but I like their designs. They keep coming out with new designs like every week it feels like. So lots of different options out there. If you're looking for BGs, they also do some really sick customs. Phil, you're looking at that small, uh, lightweight bead that they use in all of their bags that make them a nice puffy bag, you know, feel great. Templates great. Corners are good. You know, a little bit big. Again, I said bigger of a template, but man, look at this stitch. This stitch is so flipping close to the edge, like really tight stitching. Just really nice. And they throw really good. I've been, in terms of breaking, I did you do BG bag breaker on these, um, as well as wrinkle guard because I wanted them a little softer. And I've thrown the crap out of them and they're still not done yet, but they're probably 70% done, I'd say. Uh, but they feel really nice and they're going to continue to slow down a little more um, as I keep throwing them. But right now, they're playing a little bit quick. They're not quite fully dirty, fully fuzzy yet, but they're getting there. Um, you know, and I think they're in a good spot to review. I have a good opinion with them. I've thrown them a pretty good amount, so. They are a little bit quicker, so a little bit harder. To, you could definitely lay blocks. Uh, just a little bit more difficult because they're a little faster. Oop. Got to focus up, get a little flat. There we go. You can see there. These boards don't even bounce that much. These bags are just bouncy. Like they just bounce like crazy. Sure, it's recording here. Yep. A little bit short left. There you go. That's a little better. Ooh, skid it pestle. Let's go fast side here. Fast side's nice and fast, just like. Ooh, a little short actually. The game changer material, you know, just it plays really, really fast. But lucky enough, these things are uh, a little bit puffier. So because of the puffiness, that slows it down just a tad by itself. Oh, that's left. All right, let's try to get a little flatter here. There we go. But they play nice. I mean, they are bouncy. I mean, you can hear them hit. These are louder than normal bags for me. They feel puffy in the hand and they can hit and they can just, sometimes without even rolling, you can just bounce over the top of bags. There we 
There's a black. I can go for a cut here. I can cut these pretty decently. So let's try to cut around. Miss left. Got the roll over. Miss left again. All right, let's try to get an air mill here. Oh, I didn't drag. A little bit short on the air mill, but almost got the drag, man. That should have pulled. Close though. These are very hole friendly. They melt in. That big puffy bags I find do fall in the hole really, really well. There's a block. A little bit short block. I don't know if I can get a roll here. I could try. Yeah, a little bit too far. Let's go for the push through. That honestly is probably going to fall in. Let's go for a fast side again. Try to touch it. Oh, it's still moving, I thought. Oh, I literally saw it moving on the fast side. I thought for sure it was going after I hit it. Somehow hung up. I guess I should have gone for the airmail drag, but I thought for sure it might fall if I pushed it. But come down here one last time. Here's a short. All right, I'll go for the cut again. Now I went out way too far. There we go. Got it rolled. Uh, maybe I'll go down back one more time. I don't want to finish like that. I'll go for one more cut. There's the cut. We'll go down back one more time. Try to give him a proper, one more proper round. But again, I've been enjoying throwing the Vikings, uh, or the Wizards. I, I like the hand feel of them. I like the slightly bigger template. The speeds are nice. You know, and, and when they get broken in fully, fully, they're going to be even nicer. But they're already falling in the hole. Like that, just drip it in, super easy. Go fast side here. Nice little four piece. Glad I threw one last round, I guess. Yeah, we'll come down one last time. All right. There's a good block. I'll right, we'll try one more time for a roll. Ah. Uh, too quick. It was I was trying to roll. That's left. Dang it, Eddie. All right, one last air mill. Ah, there's the bounce I'm telling you about. Again, these are not bouncy ports, but these bags, if you hit flat, launch pads. So, all right, guys. Wizards by BG. Really enjoy these bags. I didn't think I would like them. Tried them. I actually really like them. I didn't think they'd be able to bounce and cut the way that I wanted to, and they do very, very well in a little bit of a bigger template. So definitely give them a try if you like a little bit of a faster bag, um, like this herringbone carpet, and just really comfy, comfy bag to throw. So appreciate you guys stopping back for another review. If you like this stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.